Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM, where throughout October, our schedule has been showcasing movies tinged with terror, heavy on horror, and marinating in the macabre. Gothic is our theme every Friday night this month, a genre that combines dark old houses with curses and restless spirits. Tonight, we're in the middle of a lineup featuring five gothic supernatural tales. We've had The Ghost and Mrs. Muir and The House of the Seven Gables, both dark romances, though Seven Gables was considerably darker. Our next film, Straight Up Scary, from Paramount in 1944, based on Dorothy McCardle's novel, The Uninvited. Today, ghost stories have become their own genre. It would be reasonable to assume their roots lie in the quality haunted house pictures produced during the golden age of horror in the 1930s and early 40s, but that's really not the case. Those early horror classics were overwhelmingly monster movies, mummies, vampires, werewolves. For the most part, ghost stories were comedies, often with a Scooby-Doo ending, revealing that the real spirits were actually the butler or the housekeeper or the rich old man trying to protect his mansion from those meddling kids. The concept of the ghost story began to change in earnest with this next film, The Uninvited, among the first movies to take the idea of ghostly terror seriously. As the story begins, a young man and his sister, played by Ray Milland and Ruth Hussey, fall in love with an old house on the English seashore, and they buy it. Mistake. Lewis Allen, making his directorial feature film debut, understood the way to make the picture truly scary and maintain the tension throughout was to cloak the movie with a foreboding atmosphere, noises, dark shadows, a constant sense of unease, aided by Charles Lang's Oscar-nominated cinematography. The film was also ahead of its time, drawing the wrath of the Catholic Legion of Decency, which rated films according to its own sense of morality. Among the objections by the League of Decency was a sense that the film had a lesbian subtext. You'll note the way Cornelia Otis Skinner's character, Miss Holloway, gazes, even swoons, at a portrait of a woman long dead. Paramount denied any intent, but it seems pretty clear the filmmakers knew the message they were delivering. From 1944, still considered one of the best haunted house movies ever made, also with Donald Crisp, and as you'll see in the credits, introducing Gail Russell, The Uninvited. The Uninvited marked the feature directorial debut of Lewis Allen. Clearly, Allen's work was inspired by other films of a similar tone being made in Hollywood at the time. Across town at RKO, producer Val Luton was changing horror expectations with a series of atmospheric thrillers where the source of the danger was mostly kept in the shadows. Cat People, I Walked with a Zombie, The Seventh Victim, to name a few. The real fear came from the audience, the terrifying ideas that manifested themselves in their imaginations. Originally, that was the plan for The Uninvited, but as the production neared completion, Paramount got cold feet, added those few scenes where we see the foggy, ghostly spirit, a first for Hollywood ghost stories. Another part of the film's legacy, composer Victor Young's musical piece Stella by Starlight, a surprise hit covered by many artists over the years. Coming up, another gothic ghost story, also in the Val Luton style, from a director who had worked closely with Luton, Robert Wise. The Haunting is next on Turner Classic Movies.